So do you have an Ender 3 V2 printer or maybe just a 3D printer in general and all of a sudden the stepper motors won't move. When you get into your control to move XYZ, maybe the extruder, everything else works. Bed preheats, the nozzle preheats, everything's good there. You hit that button, maybe to auto home. It doesn't do anything. Okay, uh, what happened here? We're going to look at it, talk about it, and I'll show you what I found coming up. I'm Roger, and obviously not in the shop. I'm up in the loft above the shop here working on the infamous lemon printer. 3D printer, if you've watched my previous videos, you know I have two of these Ender 3 V2s. The one right behind me here, that works perfect. Never have a problem with it. But what I have here with the lemon printer, which I have been through several main boards on and finally found out it was a power supply that was taking out the main boards, it worked for a little while and then I set it up. I preheated the uh, bed, I preheated the nozzle, getting ready to do a print, hit auto home. Didn't do anything. That's odd. Did a reboot. Thought, okay, I'll go in and I'll just move the XYZ extruder. It got it preheated so I could move the extruder stepper. Every one I would do, it would do nothing. And I thought, oh, okay. So we the driver section of the main board went out. So I decided to do a little bit of troubleshooting. And I put the uh, voltmeter on. Uh, which I'll show you where the test points are here in a minute. Then I found something real interesting. When I hit move, let's say I want to move it 10 millimeters on the uh, Y axis right here. So this moves nice and easy here. Of course, power is off right now. If I hit move, this thing will lock up. And it's like it's trying to go both directions at the same time. Of I have no idea what's causing that. And if you sit there long enough, that stepper motor will get hot because it's trying to do it's trying to energize both coils. So in checking on the uh, board, instead of having the 24 volts to, you know, say the positive or the negative direction, I've got them both. So it's energizing both coils. The way a stepper motor works, there's just two sets of coils in there. And looks like this here. And what this does, when you apply power to one set of coils, it moves the motor one direction. And when you apply power to the other set of coils, it moves it the other direction. Well, if you apply power to both sets of coils, it just sits there and locks up. And that's what's happening with the X, the Y, the Z, and the extruder. And I've checked every one of the outputs on there. And as soon as I hit move, I have got voltage going to both directions. And I have no idea why that is. It's the Secreality uh, main board. So, okay, so I went through another board. Yeah. Okay, this time I'm going to go into with the uh, big Tree Tech Mini, or SKR Mini, V3 I think it's called and the display, and that's going to be another video as I put this in. But I wanted to uh, kind of show you this, and I'll show you where the uh, troubleshooting points are. Okay, what I'm going to show you here is uh, a couple of the test points. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. So we'll turn this thing on. You move it up, okay. So, underneath the uh, heat sink for each one of the motor drivers, this is a heat sink right here. Uh, also, I, I'm connected to the negative on the power supply on the board. You can also use the uh, SD card case up there. That's also a DC negative. You see here there's a little bitty tiny Phillips screw, and this is the extruder. And that'll tell you if the driver is getting the correct voltage. And according to the spec, that should be 1.3. I've got 1.27, so that's pretty close. Then next one over here will be for the Z-axis. And there I have 
1.11 and that's what I'm supposed to have is 1.1. Your next one over here, I'll move a little wire out of the way, is for the y-axis. That should be 0.9 and I've actually got 1.1 on there so that one's a little high. And then over here on the x-axis, and get on there. I have 1.11 and I need to have 1.1 so that is correct. Now on your stepper driver, stepper motor I should say outlet jacks up there. For example here on X should have 24 volts on the first and third pin. And I have 24.6 and 24.6. So everything looks good there, but what happens is I take this here, and you can see here that I can move the, uh, for example, the y axis, I can move that pretty freely. But if I uh, go to move this, and I'll go to prepare, go to move. Let's move the Y. Let's move it to let's say 10 millimeters or so. 10.7, that'll work. As soon as I hit that, the bed moved maybe a millimeter. But now the problem is it is locked up. It doesn't go anywhere because I now have 24 volts going to both directions on that uh, stepper motor. So both coils are energized, so therefore it's locked up. So I guess that's a board fail. I have really no other explanation for that. So what's my next move with this lemon printer? Well, I guess we're going to try the uh, Big Tree Tech SKR Mini V3 board and display because uh, the Corality Ender 3 V2 display is not directly compatible with the Big Tree Tech SKR Mini V3. There is a workaround. It requires repinning the ribbon cable and making some changes in Marlin, and I'm not going to go through all that. I kind of like the idea of having a touch screen anyway, so that's going to be my next project, and it'll be coming up soon. So especially as I got the thing laying here on the table halfway tore apart, I might as well swap it out. But that'll be the subject of another video. So that's kind of the conclusion of this. We've got another board fail. Uh, it's rather unusual to fail to drive the stepper motors both directions at the same time. I don't know what happened there. Um, maybe I'll try reloading the firmware again just once, just to see what happens. But uh, I don't really have my hopes up. But, I'm Roger, in the loft, not in the shop, working on the Lemon Ender 3 V2. If you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Of course, we're always looking for subscribers. And next to that subscribe button's a little bell. You click that bell. Be notified when I post another video, and hopefully it won't be of any more lemons. See you in the next one.